put so much in there. The first time I tried to edit it, I tried to narrate it and kind of explain what was going on. Finally, I just had to step back and bust it. Hello viewers, welcome back to my another video. Alaskan Bush People's Matt Brown, who sings the song Face Your Fears, acknowledges that he slipped three times during his battle with addiction, but that he has now been clean and sober for a year. Alaskan Bush People actor Matt Brown said that throughout his fight with addiction, he slipped three times. He also celebrated the fact that he has been completely clean for a year in a new Instagram video. Face your worries, it will be alright. I love you, Matt said as the description of an Instagram video. In the video, he said, For the last three years, I've been in recovery, but I've lapsed three times, and the most recent slip was on March 20th of last year. Yesterday, I accomplished a milestone, one year fully sober. So I wanted to say to everyone that it's human to slide, relapse, or even just get into a mentality you don't like when life is hard for you or these difficult situations we're all going through right now. We all experience it, and everything will be oak. The ABP star then thumbed his chest twice and said, I love you, never give up, never surrender, and don't yield to fear. There's a lot of fear in the world right now, and I want to remind you of Batman Begins, and what Batman does when he feels fear. The family's Washington home was the scene of a seizure that caused Billy, Matt's father, to pass away at the age of 68. Matt uploaded a video on social media last month, informing followers of the news. The loss, he added, struck me hard, but I'm lucky. He was at home, he was with his family, and it's as he would have wanted it. I'm incredibly fortunate. I was aware that his health issues were growing worse before he died away. I was able to make amends with him and come to terms with our differences before he died away thanks to hindsight. The message Matt added to the video read, In loving remembrance of my dad, William B. Brown. Thank you all so much for your wonderful words of love and prayers, they mean so much. Now that he has, I feel happy in my heart. I felt that I took the chance to do the right thing. With his wife Amy, Billy has seven children. Boys Matt, age 36. Bam Bam, age 34. Bear, age 31. Gabe, age 29. And Noah, age 26. As well as Girls Bird, age 24. And Rain, age 16. In a touching tribute, she published beside a picture of herself with Billy and Amy, Rain referred to Billy as her hero. The adolescent wrote, I lost a real buddy. Not permanently, but just in this life. Please keep my family, especially my mother, in your thoughts and prayers. Please have your family close in my honor. I can't put into words how great he was and is. The closest thing to an angel I've ever known, though, I will admit. God bless you, Dad. I love and miss you very much, Rain said in closing. You are my idol now and forever. All the best from God. We are heartbroken to announce that our beloved patriarch, Billy Brown, passed away last night after suffering from a seizure, wrote Billy's son, Noah, alongside a precious photo of his father cuddling his grandson, Elijah. He was our best friend, a wonderful and loving dad, granddad and husband, and he will be dearly missed. He taught us to live similarly by living off the grid and off the land on his terms. We intend to carry on with his dream and honor his memory moving forward, he continued. During this difficult time, we kindly request your prayers and privacy. Thanks for watching my video. With it, I hope that y'all guys like it. I want to thank y'all for always coming along with me on these adventures and for being a part of my life. My time here in the orchard has been life-changing. Hello viewers, welcome back to my another video. In a stunning tirade, Matt Brown, an Alaskan Bush People employee who was dismissed, claimed that the show was a fake and that his late father Billy took all the money. There is a reality, and it's called Bush. Matt, 37, also attacked his late father Billy in a startling Instagram outburst for allegedly pocketing the whole series revenue. 
Everyone's told me that other people's secrets aren't mine to share, but they're destroying me, and they've been destroying me for a long time. Matt said in a nighttime Instagram video shot in what looked to be the woods. I don't have any money, and it's chilly, and I seldom consume any food. He continued, saying that the book written by the late family patriarch Billy, who chronicled how they survived by candlelight, was the basis for the producer's original presentation for Alaskan bush people. In the video he called the truth, Matt also detailed how he got into alcoholism and had an affair with a married woman, which he described as wrong. When filming on the show, producers wanted the family to act as though that was how they lived, but Matt admitted they actually had modern amenities like the generator, a television, and a box of movies. He claimed he discovered the source of his issues was lying about his life on the program when he checked into Betty Ford treatment to attempt to get sober. I enjoyed making the program, but I didn't enjoy lying about how I live and how things are in real life, said Matt. In addition, he stated the following on his financial situation. We made a lot of money off the program, and since my dad controlled everything, all the money went to him. I had nothing, not even money. My father preserved everything. Yesterday, Matt tweeted a video with the caption, 100% of my 50%, but an Alaskan Bush People representative did not immediately reply to the son's request for comment. I've looked in the mirror so many times before, and I was scraggly and unclean, and I looked insane in everything," he remarked in the video. And these days, I shave and keep myself clean because I don't want to see that man when I look in the mirror. The worst thing for me is that there are individuals in this world who simply won't accept it, no matter how I look, what I'm doing, or how long I've got my act together. The worst part is having to live with them, observe them, and hear the things they say, which just plainly don't reflect reality in any way. That's a lot for me to attempt to comprehend and accept at times. Last month, Matt wrote the following in the title of another Instagram video. Face your fears, it will be off. I cherish you.